my learning friends. I have a special spring read aloud for you today. It's called The Seven Eggs. In our title, Seven Eggs, we have a number word, seven, and we can count to the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now remember, there are some important parts of this book. The front of the book, the spine of the book, and the back of the book. Do you remember what the spine does? It holds the book together. Now on the front of my book, I find the title, and the title is the name of the book. I find the name of the author, Meredith Hooper. She is the person that wrote the story. She is the author. I also find the name of the illustrator, Terry McKenna. That is the person that drew the pictures. We open our book just like this. This is a flip book, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. The title page has some very important information for us. It has the name of the story, the title, Seven Eggs, the name of the author who wrote the story, the name of the illustrator that drew the pictures, and also down here we find the name of the publisher. That is the company that made the book. So the author writes the story and then they take the book to the publisher and the publisher makes the book and makes sure it gets to the places where we can buy the book. All right. There were seven eggs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know something that I notice about these eggs? Is that each egg is a little bit different. There are eggs that are small and round like a golf ball. And there are some eggs that are a bit bigger and they are in the shape of an oval. I wonder if that means that there is a different type of animal in each egg. Let's find out. On Monday, 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 the first egg cracked and out came a baby penguin. There's the baby penguin. Let's see what's in the second egg. On Tuesday, 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 the second egg cracked and out came a baby crocodile. There's the baby crocodile. These are all animals that hatch from eggs. Let's see what's in this larger oval egg. On Wednesday, 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 the third egg cracked and out came a baby ostrich. An ostrich is a type of bird too. Do you know what I'm noticing? I noticed that the types of animals that hatch out of eggs are birds and reptiles. Let's see what's in this tiny oval egg. On Thursday, 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 the fourth egg cracked and out came a baby frilled lizard. There's the baby frilled lizard. Let's see what's in the next egg. On Friday, 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 the fifth egg cracked and out came a baby turtle. There's a little baby turtle. All right, let's see what comes next. On Saturday, 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 the sixth egg cracked and out came a baby barn owl. A baby barn owl is another type of bird. All right. I wonder what's going to be in that seventh egg. On Sunday, 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 the seventh egg cracked and out came seven chocolate eggs. Well, that is really different. One for the penguin, one for the crocodile, one for the ostrich, one for the frilled lizard, one for the turtle, one for the barn owl, but that is only six eggs. I wonder who the seventh egg is going to be for. 
and one for you. I've had so much fun reading our spring read aloud today and all about the animals that hatch from eggs. Do you know something else I noticed? There were seven eggs in our story, but there are also seven days in a week. I have a little song to sing before we end our session today. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've had so much fun today with our read aloud and singing the days of the week. I'll see you next time when I teach to your learning superpowers, one child at a time.